Guys, welcome to What's Barking Local. My name is Jerry Miller. Thank you for joining us on a Wednesday. It is great to be with you. I've, already, I've spent 20 minutes with Patty Zeller, who we're going to welcome, <laughs> in about 30 seconds to the program, her show. And in those 20 minutes, I've inspired and motivated and feel better about my life. Just hearing what she <laughs> wow. is doing with Animal Connection in the McIntyre Plaza and pivoting and changing and innovating her model has is truly inspiring. And wow. what we're going to try to do, and we're going to welcome Patty Judah in 10 seconds, what we're going to try to do with all our content moving forward, I know everyone is a little bit uncertain and nervous, but we can, with this network and this platform and the fabulous people we know in studio camera at Judah, we can <laughs> help write the course and be a North Star we can. for the community. The dog star. The dog star. Serious. Yes. Let's Seriously. Be, let's, I'm named, I meant Serious, the dog star. I love it. Yeah, right. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Um, Let's it's a, play. It's a pleasure to have you start open-ended. It's been a week since we talked to you on the uh, I Love Seville Network here. It, How has the mindset changed in a week? Oh, my gosh. Well, we I don't think I've slept a whole lot uh, lately, and we've been working a lot of 12, almost 14-hour days. Uh, we have been incredibly busy at Animal Connection, not only uh, doing curbside uh, preparing curbside orders, aiming a lot of curbside orders, and doing in-town delivery, and then helping dogs that need help, helping rescue group find some supplies that they need, and doing orders for them, and and in between 12 hours of that, I mean, just planning and making sure we can get deliveries, because I mean, a lot of people are bulk ordering still, so we're, you know, Getting things from distributors is, is a little bit of a challenge, so we were having to do plan things, and and uh, gosh, I might even need to go buy another freezer. I mean, it's it's we are that busy, but just being able to take a breath, and you know, when we're not doing the ordering or or not in the store, it's just thinking of more ideas, like how can we keep this going, and how can we, uh, I mean. We're going to be solvent, no, no problem with that whatsoever. But I mean, moving forward, I mean, I've got a lot of plans that I'm trying to implement in this year. So, you know, just there's a lot of mind work <laughs> going I love, on. Woof. <laughs> I think we see the the character and the essence and the backbone and the the will and the innovative uh, mindset of a community during hardship. You can, and you can dig your hole deeper, or you can dig out of it. Okay, I want to right? go down that road. Right. Exactly. I want to go down that road. Go Wilson, down that road. Wilson Ritchie owns the whiskey jar. Yep. He's got his dish pit doing um, car cleaning and car washing. Brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. That's right. I okay. love that. Um, our friends in the restaurant business are doing curbside. Right. Delivery and takeout. Exactly. Our friends in Belmont. Bell and yeah. Belmont, a sister restaurant of Citizen Burger Bar, yeah. is doing to-go burgers and fries in the parking lot at Bell for dinner in Belmont. No, I did not know that. Innovation. I love Bell. I think they make some of the best English muffins I've ever had. I love it. So you you are innovating as well, left and right. We are. We are out there. Uh, you know, like I said, the, the curbside delivery has been huge for us. But the other thing is, is really kind of fun. And uh, I think Mark discovered how fun it was today. You know, we're doing, we're doing FaceTime and... Uh, Personal shopping experiences. We've got people calling and like, hey, I got a new puppy. What do you got? So we're walking around the whole store. You know, since they don't feel comfortable coming in, they don't want to leave their home, we'll walk around the store. We'll talk about all the kinds of treats and the chews and what they need. Uh, you know, as we're talking to them, we're sending them uh, pictures of our collar selection and say, hey, what's your, your dog? You know, they're picking out all the supplies in the store right now. And wait till you see what we've got planned for Easter it is going to be so much fun. I mean, I know we wanted to do the Easter egg hunt. I know we wanted to have Easter bunny pictures, but we're going to do things differently. Okay, I'm going to dress up at the Easter bunny and take your Easter basket to the car for you. You know, that, that somebody's going to get a kick out of that. But uh, we will be doing FaceTime personal shopping experiences for people. So... You know, you, you got you to gotta take what you're given. There's nothing we can do to control the situation here. But we can come up with innovative and creative and super fun 
ideas to help people at home, right? I love it. I love it. Um, Roger Voyne say, welcome to the program. James Yay. Watson, hello. Um, Kate Elwood, hello. Give it a like, give it a share. We're telling the story. We're spotlighting the journey. We're showcasing the strategies mm -hmm. of a fabulous businesswoman and entrepreneur and well. Patty Zeller, <laughs> almost 20 years of servicing the Charlottesville community at Animal Connection in the McIntyre Plaza. Mm -hmm. She is literally innovating her model um, to, to have success, to have revenue growth during yeah. the coronavirus in Charlottesville, Virginia. So what we're trying to do with the network is offer um, a glimmer or a sliver of potential and positivity and hope for the community. Absolutely. You are embodying that mindset right now, Pat. I am trying super hard. And the other thing we're doing is, you know, we, we believe in making sure that everybody has information. I mean, whether it be uh, food and nutrition or whether it's grooming or uh, simple pet care tips or whatever, uh, we believe in staying in touch with the rescue groups and what they need and, and just keeping in touch with everybody, you know, how are things going? So we did create a specific um, Facebook group, Charlottesville VA Pet Community, and all the stores have been invited, all the rescue groups, all the vet care, all the trainers, the dog walkers, you know, all these people that are dog fest regulars have been invited to participate in this page and post uh, Think you know what what they're doing. We have a great trainer that's on there that's doing really fun activities you can do at home with your dog. I mean, it looks like exercise, but there are things that really make a difference. And she's done nine different posts of really cool things you can do with your dogs. So I mean, it's just things like that that's making it a lot easier. You know, if you're housebound or it's making things easier for people. Yona Smith, Luvanna County, welcome to the program. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Give it a like and a share on any of these Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. And if you have any perspective you'd like to relay to Patty, put it in the comments section. Please and I do. Will pat, I will pass it along. Um, we have folks at Woolen Mills and Belmont on 29 and Forest Lakes, mm -hmm. Spring Creek, watching the program as we speak. Nice. I think this is extremely important to highlight. Curbside pickup mm -hmm. outside Animal Connection from a food standpoint. Right. Chewy and the online retailers cannot do that. They can't do that. And we are also doing free same day in town delivery. And we've already been out and about doing those. I've got my car loaded with deliveries uh, for when I go home tonight. And yeah, Chewy, do top that one right now. You can't. So, but your local stores are here and ready to help you do things like this. Our buddy Wilson Ritchie's watching the program right now. Give him some props. <laughs> Give him some props, Patty. Yay. Give Wilson a message. I will. I mean, gosh, I, I love his restaurants, and, you know, we're here to support uh, the restaurant community. And I also want to let people know, uh, if you're a restaurant worker and you are out of work and you have a pet at home and maybe your funds are tight and you can't afford to feed them, I am so lucky that I have great distributors that have given me lots of trial sizes and small sizes of food, and I have plenty to share. I will not see any pets go hungry because people are out of work. And they can contact me, they can message me on any of our pages, or they can call me in the store. But, you know, I, I can't eat out every night, but I, gosh, I can, I can sure feed pets. So I love there. it. There you go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Support the businesses that need the help, guys. Animal Connection and McIntyre Plaza here, where we left it here. We're already 17 minutes into the program. Yes. Where we teased it last time. Yes. Was Patty and Animal <laughs> Connection. We're thinking yeah. about some new ideas with the business. Now, we're not going to let any cats out of the bag. Right. Not saying that there's a cat to be let out of the bag. No, but here's, I can, I can, I can allude to, here's the Unintended. dream. Unintended. Right. Here, here's the dream. Here, here's what I'm working on. I am working on a space where, uh, number one, it's our retail. Uh, retail may be in a different way. It's involving some dog daycare. It's involving delivery. And hopefully it's involving a dog club. She's growing and improving right. her it's model like a during little... a, 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 a tough situation. Right. Your chutzpah and vision and hustle. I'm highlighting right. that now. I love it. Yeah, we're, we're not going to lie down on this thing. We're, we're going forward. I mean, and we're looking, you know, to tie this all Bring it, to, baby. To, a, to like, not exclusive, but kind of like a dog club. It's like a membership club where you know you can take your dog to a safe place and you can drink beer and, or drink coffee or whatever your tipple is, you know, well, and socialize with people. I mean, we just want to do more than a store. We want to enhance this idea of pet community along with 
you know, hopefully a restaurant community. I mean, we're really working hard on finding some ideas to this. I've got some clues. We're working on a few things. When I can say what it is, I will say what it is. But, so, so that's some news coming yeah, down the pipe, guys, for everybody that that's watching that follows the small business yeah. community. Teresa Davis, welcome to the program. Animal Connection yeah. is working on improving their business model, where exactly. this particular improvement would have a centrally located facility where you yep. could drop your dog off for a daycare standpoint. Yeah, daycare, grooming. You could come into the facility, mm -hmm. get your dog groomed. Right. You could come into the facility, have a beer, coffee, wine, yeah. whatever it may be, some tea, some water. You can chill with other like-minded dog moms and dog dads. Right. You can have grooming. You right. can do some food purchasing. You can meet your dog trainer. You, you can, can meet your dog trainer. You, you can meet your dog walker who's going to take them on a power walk if you don't want to do it on the walk. You know, this this is the kind of thing that goes, I mean, with it's like the idea ACAC of pet ACAC community. It's like the dog world. It, well, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. ACAC, it's, you have kid zone. You're dropping off your kids. <laughs> you're dropping off your dog. You're going upstairs to get your mind right. You go to this particular spot to get your mind right. It's the water cooler, but better. There you go. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like we've been spitballing <laughs> this for months. I know, I know, but but you know, some things are. Imagine you know, that. Yeah, it's given me some time to really go out and about the town and say, "Hey, where's a great location for there this?" There is none. Oh no, there is none that are currently doing it. Well, there there's are nobody great that's doing it, and yes. I'm not trying to hate on anybody, but no. I'm just being honest here. There's no one doing it how it's supposed to be done. There's no one doing it as aggressively as I am. That is for sure. Yeah, and not, I wouldn't say aggressive. I'm just being assertive oh, with my contacts and with my skills. Strategically. Right, exactly. Exactly. It would, it. it would crush. It would crush it. Yeah, and it just makes it fun. I mean, you know, I, my drive this year is to be more service-oriented. I mean, the retail is important, but I, I want to be the one that you're going to... I've always been the one for the last 20 years that you're going to come to if you need a connection for something, if you need to know who can help you with your dog. This is taking that an entire different level. So we're working on it. Um, Jackie Myers is watching the program. Wow, Patty, love the program. We need <laughs> everything. Thank you kindly for the help. Nice. What do you need specifically, Jackie? Uh, paper towels, Got bounty, it. because they're the most absorbent. Right. Um, greeny pill pockets. Okay. Milk bone treats, canned dog food, um, right. super maxi pads. Okay. Um, cotton makeup remover pads right. for ear cleaning. That's right. Swifter wet jet pads. Insulin, um, syringes, half milliliter gauge. Ooh. She needs a lot. She needs a lot of stuff. And Jackie does great work. She Peaceful for, passing. That's right. For people who don't know, she takes in senior pets that maybe people can't care for or maybe need uh, some serious medical care in their last days. She's the one. It's almost like a pet hospice for dogs. I mean, she's amazing in, in doing what she does. I mean, because if you think about it, she takes in animals, and she knows she's always going to have to say goodbye, which is a really hard thing for any of us to do with our pets. And, and that's what she does beautifully, and she's an honor blade. Well you know? said. So, um, yeah, here's this list. If you guys want to chip in or make a donation in kind so you can do this, you know, contact us at Animal Connection. We will get it to her. She said, um, Jackie mm -hmm. Myers, the founder of Peaceful Animal Passings, we have her book right here, Loving yeah, an Older Dog on set. Right. She said, we've always gone to Animal Connection for help, and Patty and Animal Connection have always come through. Wow. Thank you very much. We sure try. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a testament to you. So I, what people are taking from this, and you have folks watching, what people are taking for this is you are moving forward. Absolutely. You are not burying your head. Why, why would you? I mean, because we're seeing a lot of that. I mean, it would be really easy to do that. And I'm very sorry for people that don't have options. I honor that. But, you know, I'm lucky that I do have some options. I have a lot of drive and, you know, and I'm going to make it work. You know, we're all going to get through it. You know, we're going to come out smelling OK at the end of this thing. Um, I am sorry that some businesses will not survive it. Businesses that I know and, and love uh, supporting. But, you know, but. But there'll be other things that come through. And what is it that, I remember that book. Gosh, it might even be something my mother tried to get me to read years ago. Tough times don't last, tough people do. Yeah. Right? So, I mean, you just got to think out of the box. I love what the rescue groups are doing. I mean, they are on it. And uh, I like what the, uh, did I say rescue groups? The restaurant. Yeah. Restaurant tours. I think they've been so creative about, you know, keeping their, 
their businesses alive and and um, you know helping their people and uh, that car wash thing I thought was brilliant. I submitted that idea to um, one of my pet retailers groups because I mean the same thing goes for dog groomers. You know some some of these girls that I know that are in the Chicago area Ooh, they might us. they might have ten or twelve dog groomers. Well, okay. Maybe they want to do a car wash, too. I thought that was a super idea, Will Ritchie. What else are you, and he's still watching, yeah. what else are you seeing from people in the retail category and the, the groups that you're in? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, a lot of people are just finding different ways to be online. Um, one of my friends does this really cool thing where she might take, like, samples or trial sizes, maybe some toys that aren't really selling, and she'll put them in a brightly colored box, and she calls them... Um, Bark bags, mystery bags, uh, whatever it is. And it's amazing. She'll get online and talk it up, and the people will buy these things. And so, you know, we, we do things like that, too. We, we just call ours mystery bags. So you can get them and ship them, and it's really fun to have no idea what's going to be in your package. And, and there it comes to you in the mail. But I, I notice a lot of people getting creative and doing things like that. Well, I've been impressed with um, you. I've been impressed with the... Uh you know, everything. Um, I think um, you are going to be, when this is said and done, see it as a retail leader. I think Tiffany Smith at the Virginia shop and Monique and Steve at the Happy ah. Cook will as well. Yep. I think the landscape is going to be very different. They're doing but great things. Same day delivery and curbside pickup for huge bags of dog food is... right. That's a big deal. A no-brainer and a big deal. Especially when the online giants are saying, hey, we can get it to you in three or four days. That's not good enough. No. You know, and, and I, I almost want to shake my little finger a little bit, too, because there are a lot of people in town, and we get it. We get it that getting your food delivered to your doorstep at a really cheap price is a very attractive option. But there are stores, in, pet stores in Charlottesville that will do the same thing same day at that same price point and we're nice people and we're local and we you know we need the support of local people to do these things um this is there. from chris chris <laughs> muck is watching in belmont he says jerry i love the content that you put out on your facebook pages i as a dog owner particularly like this show please tell your guests thank you I can't speak for the entire community, but from one dog owner to another, we really respect what she's doing. Jackie Meyer says, Patty never, never gives up. Teresa Davis <laughs> giving you a virtual fist bump as well from Frontrunner Signs. Um, 24 minutes, 25 minutes now into the program. Yeehaw. I This is a topic that we've been asking everybody that's come on the show, whether Skype or this way. Mm -hmm. Throw it out there. Get the community listening. The be, topic? A voice, be a voice of reason. I threw it to Dave Norris. I threw it to Daniel Kaufman today. Anything a, at all? Anything you want to go, Charlottesville and Central Virginia, navigating the uncertain waters of the coronavirus. Wow. Well, I think I've pretty much said a whole lot already. But I, I think, um, I mean, for us, you know, if, if you're doing things out of town or online, you know, please look to your local suppliers at this time. Uh, you know, the city needs us. The county needs us. Uh, local needs us, and, and we don't wear bark local, per local, shop local shirts for nothing. I mean, it's rare that I would wear a t-shirt, but I'm going to wear a t-shirt like this. Uh, so, uh, you know, just look around and see what you can do to make a difference and see what you could do uh, to help. I love it. Next so. week, can we forecast ahead? No. <laughs> You're Are you kidding? Day by day, by day baby. Yeah, I, I, who knows what that next week's going to bring. I, I know I'll be here. <laughs> Roger says, Patty, you make me want to go out and get another dog. Roger Foy. Go, do Give it. him some props. Oh, yeah. We can, we can find foster dogs for you if you want to try it out and make sure you like it. <laughs> I'm sure you can. Yeah. And Erica, who's watching, says she's got two to pass along. See? All right. Uh, yeah. Erica, Green Dogs Unleashed. Gosh, she's got two... Um, Let's see, one puppy just, uh, one mother just gave birth to seven puppies, and there's two more with puppies on the way. So there, there is plenty of dog around this town. <laughs> I think, and I, it's going to yeah. take time. Yeah. Okay. And I th it's, it's, look, we have the, uh, we have a, we have a person who's leading the country saying Easter is when the economy is going to open back up again. That's ambitious. It's ambitious. Okay. And that's what I want to say. We'll close on this. Yeah. I, I, there's nothing I want more as a small business owner 
then the community to be a first healthy, healthy, yes. yep. healthy first. Mm -hmm. B, there's nothing, you know, very close second is I want the economy doing well, small business. Owners. Exactly. I don't want to put, I don't want to put us at risk by going back too quickly and full force. Right. And Easter, as you said, is potentially ambitious, ambitious where I'm going to go with this. After having a week to digest this, mm -hmm. I woke up this morning feeling inspired, invigorated, motivated, hungry, ready to lead and help do my small part to, 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 to show this community that we can and we will be stronger than ever. I feel better about it this week. I will tell you, after working 12-hour uh, days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you know, just trying to make, because you knew, we didn't know if, if our grooming was going to be considered non-essential or not. So we did as many dogs as we could. And I will tell you that all of us at Animal Connection are exhausted. And I was mentally exhausted just from keeping up with it and thinking of ideas and ways to keep everything solvent and make sure my people were well taken care of. But, you know, from the last two days, it's all going to be fine. Everything's going to be good. We're all going to be okay. I, I truly believe it. You Positive rock. attitude. You rock. Um, um, feel even better about it after this show. Support her. <laughs> Thank you. Support Animal Connection in the McIntyre Plaza. We'll archive this show on her website, animalconnectionva.com. And please go to the Charlottesville VA Pet Community Facebook group. I mean, you'll find uh, the links for some of these ways that you can help and things that they need. And, you know, if you, if you got a minute or you got a spare buck. Follow them. Yeah, follow join them. The join the group. You'll know what's going on. I love it. That was yep. smart, too. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we'll syndicate the show <laughs> for two weeks across the I Love Seville network. We will continue to use the platform to support yes. the community and do our small part to offer a glimmer of hope and positivity in the time of uncertainty. Nice. There it is. Rock on. That's all we're going to do. Bark local. Bark local. <laughs> shop <Patty>. local. <laughs> shop per local. That's right. <laughs> Support her, guys. Support her. I'm Jerry Miller. It's What's Barking Local Wednesdays till 3.30 on the I Love Seville Network, 3 to 3.30. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Yeah, cheers. Yay. Good job. Oh, yeah, we're doing the... Uh... I'm doing this. Okay. Forget it. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're sanitized. Good job. We're sanitized. Oh, yeah. Let's